Navigation part one was taking a bearing. Then navigation part two, we put it on a map. Navigation part three is going to find where exactly on that map are you through triangulation. Triangulation is an easy concept. As long as you know how to shoot the bearing like we did in the first episode and you know how to adjust your map, you're fine, you can do it. The hard part of triangulation, especially in an area like I am right now, is being able to identify landmarks around you. Especially in the summertime, it gets so thick through the Appalachian Mountains here that it's very hard. So if you have to get up on a peak or a ridge line that you can oversee something, it works way, way better. But if you're down low, pretty difficult. But I'm still gonna show it to you because I think it's important. Step one is to orientate our map north. So that's very simple. Again, I know the declination is 10 degrees west. So I'm gonna do that, place the compass on a grid line, place the needle into the doghouse. And that's it, don't move your map, now you're good to go. What we're gonna be using is these two ridge tops right here. The problem with this, again, like I said, you need to be up on a high area or somewhere you can see land mass around you is you need to be able to identify land structures so standing here and we're making this up but i've been in this area so i know it a little bit well i can see these three hilltops in front of me and they are coal banks okay real high coal banks of just silt that are piled up so i know i'm looking at them and when i stand and i look forward i could see one two and then this one off in a distance so we're going to use these two hilltops to figure out exactly where we are. And then from there, we can use that to find our bearing. So how do we do that? So I'm gonna take my compass at this point and shoot a bearing at this ridge top. So we're gonna assume that was 330 degrees. So I'm just gonna set my compass there. At 330, I stood up, I took a good bearing, I shot it at 330. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay it back on my map and I'm gonna put my pencil right at the dot of where I shot at line the edge of my compass up and put that needle into the doghouse just like this and then draw a line now i know that's a little bit dull but it's a pencil so you should be able to see that line across there what i'm going to do at this point now is i'm going to look at this next ridge line and shoot a bearing to that so in land of make-believe we shoot another bearing and let's say we get 20 degrees right to the very top of that and you could see my pencil goes there I place this compass on and I begin to rotate it till the needle is in the doghouse and I draw another line. Now, that creates an X at that spot, dead center, is exactly where I am located right now. It's that easy. The downfall with this though, again, is you need to be able to identify land structures. So I know these big high ridge lines, I could see it, I know that that's what's in front of me. I draw my X, very easy, I triangulated my position. Now, I can use this to figure out a new bearing. So if I need to get back into Frackville, what I can do is I can put my compass here, aim for a spot in Frackville, dial the needle into the doghouse, and I know at this point, we're approximately 290 degrees, will take me right into town, and that's how I find my way out. And that's triangulation. It it is really that easy. It's just shooting two bearings. The hard part is being able to identify those land masses. And if you're in an area you have no idea that where you're at, uh, it could be a little bit dicey because there might be very similar land masses. So if you're gonna be going to an area and you have a map like this, and you have your compass, really just try to keep track of where you're going, identifying along the way, maybe planning out your route along the way so you don't have to get to this point. But if you get somewhere and you're like, hey, wait, we're definitely off a little bit, you should know your general vicinity and then you're gonna have to find stuff around your area that you can look at, identify, shoot that bearing, make that X, and then get on the X. So this was Dan Wolock with Coal Cracker Bushcraft, another very easy navigation technique. I think at this point you should just about be good to go out with a compass, shoot a bearing, use a map, and find yourself on a map. Until the next video, stay in the woods guys.